I am finally, today, getting my Ford Bronco from Galpin Auto Sports with the newly installed Ready to Rock package by Von Gittin Jr. This is going to be really awesome. RTR has been one of the first manufacturers to jump in and do an entire package for the Ford Bronco. Vaughn is using the best of the best on his conversions. They look good, they perform well, and they're functional. And those of you who want to know who Vaughn Gittin Jr. is, Vaughn Gittin Jr. is a race car driver who specializes in drifting. He is probably the world's most famous drift car racer. I went with him in a car in Vegas. Uh, it'll change your religious beliefs. He makes drifting look like it's like motorsports ballet. It's next level. It's like, wow, how does he do it? I love the look of some of these more heritage looking builds, but I like to off-road. I like to really use my vehicle and some of them are a little too, they're more show and not go and I want to go. I just dropped off my Raptor to get some service and I am casually walking over to Galpin Auto Sports to pick up my Bronco. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm pretty excited about it. All right, so this is Brandon right on? here. Brandon here actually sold me the Bronco, sure and he's is. not even a salesman. It's <laughs> not like his forte. We had a small hiccup, and it wasn't uh, in any fault of like uh, us or RTR uh, in shipping. One of the parts was nicked a little bit, so we just had to refinish it. Uh, but besides, uh, except for that, everything else went beautifully. Uh, the truck looks phenomenal, and I know you're going to love it once you get it out on the road. I think it looks awesome. Yeah. It came out beautiful, and you are going to get all the thumbs up in the world while you're driving it. Here it is. Let's just start with the lights. So these are Project X, <clears throat> obviously the FF.70s. And I like that they're round because even though this isn't a retro build, it's still in keeping with like a traditional Bronco, I feel like. So we got the graphic on the hood. We got the topographic um, on the sides and a little bit in the back. So there's a spacer. Can you tell me what the spacer does like exactly? So the spacer for the rear tire will help push the rear tire out and up a little bit. And for these bigger wheels and tires, it just you want the clearance between the tailgate and the actual uh, tire. So it does that, it relocates it. We bring the third brake light above, so it's still in a safe, visible uh, position. So behind you, any drivers can see. And then you have the molly panel on this portion where this is beautiful when you want to add accessories. If you want to add, let's say, um, uh, a wind channel or any, any smaller accessories that you don't want to have inside the vehicle, you can attach to this and this will be a secure way to carry it so you don't have to have it inside the vehicle. You could even do, there's a, a option for this to have a fuel can carrier. So you can uh, carry extra fuel back here. Very versatile piece that you can use literally for anything depending on what your preference is. Wheels and tires. So the tires, uh, Nitto teamed up with, uh, sorry, RTR teamed up with Nitto and they have this beautiful Recon Grappler, which is a new tire to them that they're offering on this truck that gives you great performance on-road and off-road. And then their wheel design and color, I, I really uh, like, especially with the uh, this blue of the vehicle, it just pops nicely and it matches it. You have the simulated B-Lock ring on the outside to offer protection, and you have uh, the RTR center cap and the t uh, RTR finish. They do the same finish on their Mustangs and on their uh, Ranger and F-150 wheels. Yep. And then we got the badging on here too. Yes, the fender badging, uh, the RTR fender badging, you have interior badging and the interior goodies that go along with it as well. And then the most uh, distinctive changes you see coming up from in front. So when you're behind someone, they can look up in their rear view mirror, they're going to see this grill, the LED lights that go in the grill. Um, and traditionally you'll see honeycombing in the other vehicles, but this has its own distinct design. You still retain the factory camera, which is awesome. You don't have to, you know, come up with a, um, an aftermarket way of doing it. This is all factory. And then you have the RTR logo embedded in it as well. All right, let's move to the inside because I know there's a couple of goodies here too. All right, so 
Yeah. So we have the RTR serialized dash pack, which is again only a part of this kit. You have the floor mats that come with RTR. And then now the outfitter number one is being utilized. Since your lights are now attached, we uh, attach it to outfitter number one. So when you hit that, you have those lights all turn on. Uh, thanks for a really great job. Of course. You know, I really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you so much. Appreciate yeah. you coming to Galpin Autosports. So that's it. That is the RTR build. I'm going to move on and do some more things to it. I'm not done yet. But this completes this build, and I want to just give a sincere thank you to Von Gittin Jr. and the team at Galpin Autosports. Thank you. Take care of each other. Keep rock alive.